So I um, I saw a Tom Cruise movie I've never seen before, a popular one for the first time. Which which Tom Cruise film was that? Minority Report. You seen that one? Many times. Steven Spielberg. Obviously. Exactly. Steven Spielberg. But it's also one of my. It would be in my. It might. It would be in my top ten for sure of Tom Cruise films. Oh, well. I, I, did you like it? No, yeah, it was fun. It's, it's, a, uh, it's a cool concept. Yeah, yeah, the concept's great. Uh, love it. Um, it's very dated. In it terms is. Of, when you uh, you got to take that. I was hoping you, the, obviously, you take that into consideration. The VFX Absolutely. and how far we've come. And yeah. then also, it's so, I th we did this a lot in the early 2000s. Everything has like this soap opera lighting behind it. Yeah. It's so strange. I don't know why that was a thing. And it's very interesting. That's not a... When you watch that film, you would not think it's Steven Spielberg. No, yeah. It's very, it's very different, different for him. Great concept, though. Yeah. I enjoyed it. Good. Josh. Hey, welcome back to our stupid Rex. This is Corbin. I'm Rick. I mean, Tom Cruise was... The same Tom Cruise he's always oh, in and everything, back. which is the, one of the biggest problems I have with him. Ugh. <laughs> I did watch also Seven for the first time. I'd never seen Seven. You'd never seen Seven? I'd never seen Seven. Isn't Loved that a seven. fun movie? Loved Seven. Love that Although movie. I did figure out what was in the box. Yeah, of course. But I was kind of disappointed. Don't, don't, if, if you don't know, don't, yeah. don't spoil it. But I was, I was expecting you... something, because, I mean, it, the hype, it's hard to build up to what, you know, I've heard what's in the box. It's hard to live up yeah. to the hype. And it was just like I thought something cooler would have been in the box. Yeah, and I don't think I don't I don't think it's in. I think it's supposed to be because he, when he's saying what's in mm -hmm. the box, you can hear in his voice. Yeah, and yeah, his, yeah, 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 yeah. He's afraid of what's in. He yeah. knows what's in there. Yeah, I just thought it. Yeah. I'll tell you what. It's I, a great. I, I don't want to spoil movie. anything because if you haven't seen it, go watch it. Have you it's Have great. you seen? Uh, oh, doggone it! It's the. Uh, dang it! What's the name of the movie? Now that you said seven, it's it's the really famous Bruce Willis movie, with the kid who says, "I see dead people." Um. Uh, don't give any spoilers away if you know that film. The, the, no. Um, doggone it. You've already put it in the comments. Anyways, but... Do you, have you seen that film? Yes. I've okay. That one. That's, yeah. a, that's a great film. <clears throat> Another man who uh, I'm not a huge fan of. Did you see... His uh, acting work. Speaking of Tom Cruise... Poor guy, though, right now. Have, <sighs> so sad. I know. Uh, have you seen... Um, uh, you've, you've seen Jerry Maguire? No. Okay. Have you seen Born on the Fourth of July? No. Okay. You've seen Rain Man? Yes. Okay. Um, the Color of Money? No. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm, I'm not naming off the ones where he is his best. At. Did you see MI3? I've seen MI1. That's all I've ever seen. That's the only MI you've ever seen? I've told you this. I, I for some and reason, I thought... You told me thought, to skip two. Yeah, Ooh. don't watch two. It's, it's <laughs> Mission Impossible 2 is like Rocky Five. <laughs> Philip Seymour Hoffman. MI3 is where it all begins. That's really the beginning of the Mission Impossible franchise for me. Yeah. MI3. We'll see. Okay. Anyways, uh, so today we have a, this is a, say this one. Uh, Voodoo Tolai, if part, that's right. Part one making video. Uh, it's, you've, we saw the trailer for this. This is the one with Vijay Sadapati. Um, it's out, but it's supposed to be really amazing. It's, it did not get a United States release. <sighs> At least... Not here in Los Angeles, anywhere. Um, I, I saw. I, so I, if it, if it's not in Los Angeles, it's probably nowhere. Yeah, didn't Raj Rajamuli post something about this? Anya has, cool has talked yeah. about it. Rajamuli has talked about it. Like, um, and I really want to see it. I mean, so I guess we're gonna have to wait for because uh, it's getting rave reviews. It's getting all that kind of stuff. I really wanted to see it. It's not available here in the United States. If anybody That's knows nuts. a producer. Direct, a director doesn't have social, so I can't reach out to him via that way, or I would for a screener. Uh, if Did you ask Anurag uh, if he knows anybody? No, I haven't yet. Okay. Um, but if anybody does, let me know, because I would love to get a screener. We and, would and love to review I, this. I was excited for this. Me and too. I was really hoping that we could see it in theaters, but it's not available. But this is kind of like the Leo behind the scenes making Got it. stuff. It doesn't give away spoilers or anything. Great. It's just kind of what they, kind of behind the scenes making of kind of stuff. So. Got it. Let's just get into this. Really sad that it's not available here. Did you see The Last Samurai? I did when I was like really young. Okay. Yeah, you probably should revisit that. Really young. Yeah. Like 10 or something like that. That's one of my that's one of my favorite Tom Cruise films. Here we go. Oh, 
Nice! Shouts out to camera work. Oh, nice. Nice. The world of the cinematographer, man. Camera people are so fun. Nice. I've, I've never seen cinematographer on rollerblades. Have you? I can't think of a time I've ever seen a cinematographer on rollerblades. It's probably just budgetary or or because of the terrain. Or the terrain. Gotta they, be. They couldn't use a... Nice stunt work, buddy. He hit his head there, too. <laughs> Run faster, faster, faster. You're not doing what I want. Great music. Yeah. Nice. Oh. That's a stunt I would definitely do. What? Like the torturing? Oh, yeah, down. the hanging upside down? Yeah, I, you and I have the same ilk to yeah. do as many of our own stunts as is feasible. Yeah. If I can, I would like Absolutely to. Absolutely would love to do. That was fun. I love stuff like this. Um, one, I... Hold on, what did that say? It said worldwide release it's March 31st. incorrect. Yeah. No, that was not a worldwide release. Hold on. I wonder why distribution didn't do it. Um, money, probably. It's probably... It's always it, money, it like yeah. It's a small course, budget film. What's, what, what's, the, what's the reason behind that? Uh, let's see. I'm I mean, digital on. distribution's not nearly as expensive as it was when you did reels. Fandango... Let me change the radius. No, nope, it's as big as I can do it. Not even down in Orange County? Mm -mm. Oh, that sucks. Um, oh, well. Yeah, that sucks. Uh, is, is, I, I really want to see it. Does, does Lemelay show up in Fandango, or are they independent and don't show up in Fandango? Because they, 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 if anyone they had show it, up. they, show they up. do? Okay. They show up. Right. Um, yeah, I love stuff like this. One, I like that it, this is more of a... Because sometimes you'll see... Uh, behind the scenes and it's more star they, they want to let the audience see the star oftentimes mm -hmm. and lately we've seen a lot of like Leo they just shouting out the crew and, and what they do which is great because the crew is the unsung hero of filmmaking always because um, they're not the ones that you see on screen they're not the or the director or the writer or the 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 ones with the, the name that flash up on the screen until the very end as as, as are the stunt people yes. Oscars <laughs> yeah 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 um, but I just because the crew is who you oftentimes like really I mean obviously if depending on your department if you're an actor a lot of times you'll you'll be around other actors all the time because the crew sets up the shots and, and that kind of stuff and the actors will be with each other or in makeup or wardrobe which is why they're pretty close oftentimes but yeah. also you get pretty close to the, the crew um, if they're if especially the, pro the, the production assistants and the ADs yeah. you, you, I mean some a lot of the time and i would say maybe even more of the time actors will become more connected and spend way more time with 
crew than cast. A lot of times, yeah, it just depends on the cast. Depends obviously. on the casting situation. Because um, sometimes you're not even in the shots, so you just yeah. kind of have to be off to the side. But, yeah, like I was just on, on uh, a short film I did, and it was the crew was great. But it was funny because it was uh, the entire crew was Chinese. And they all spoke to the Unless Mandarin. they were speaking to me. Yeah. Or the other actor, who was also a white man, they were speaking Mandarin. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> and so it was, uh, I was just trying to, it's hard language to pick up. Oh my, oh my there's word. nothing to pick up. Yeah, there. it's like, because they make sounds that we don't make here oh, in, in English yep, at all. At all. Uh, it's not even, like, on What Dictators Dream About, our producer was Chinese, uh, but and another person there was Chinese, so they occasionally spoke. But uh, the majority of the rest of the crew were Russian American mm. or uh, Ukrainian, and they were all speaking yeah. Russian. But in Russian, you can pick up a couple of things. Not in Mandarin, man. Yeah, man. It's so I kept trying to like uh, to say. Certain Did you learn things. anything? Did they teach you any? Any? They, they any did. Words? I've forgotten it already. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but it's just like Indian in terms of like everybody knows English. They know their. Mother of tongue. course, they probably know the one of the major other languages in India. Did I ever tell you the story about my dad and I getting caught doing our fake Mandarin at a clothing store? Yikes! We were in the clothing store, and my dad, my dad and I would do this just to be silly. So he he would get the clothes, and he would do this. He'd grab the clothes, and he'd go. Oh, we did it. We're joking around. Now, no one's around, so he's just doing it to make me laugh. We walk up. As we're buying the clothes, I look, and I can I see the girl behind the counter. She looks Chinese, and I'm immediately thinking, oh, my goodness, I hope she didn't hear us. <laughs> we get up. She says, can I ask you guys a question? My heart starts racing. She says, <laughs> I was 17, 16, maybe younger. She says, what language were you guys speaking? And my dad apologizes and goes to great lengths, and her eyes start to widen, and she said, you weren't speaking a f Chinese language? <laughs> he said, oh, no, that was just gibberish. She said, I speak Mandarin. I wasn't wondering whether you were speaking Chinese or not. I was trying to figure out which dialect you were using huh. because he had so many sounds that were phonetically similar. Mm. Nice. But, boy, phew, that was a... Yeah. <laughs> we never did that in front of anybody yeah, else. Yeah, that was yeah, just yeah. my dad and I together, and he would do it just to make me laugh because he sounded legitimately Chinese. But on these... Uh... The, the camera people um, and the DPs and the cinematographers with the length they go to to get certain shots is, is amazing. Like the guy that was on the the, the, the pulley uh -huh. or the, the guy that was on the roller blades, which is great. Dangerous. Because that looked like it was on a slope. Yep. Um, but they're they're so committed because they were like, oh, <laughs> I, I, I have to get this shot. And so they go to such great lengths. Yeah, and you've got to... There's times where, as an actor, you've got to be so patient, not just the waiting in between shots, but you'll be in a shot that's getting set up and you think it's ready to go and you're in the moment and then something happens and they need to change the battery on the camera. They don't like what they see in the monitor, so the cinematographer is going to change a lens. So someone has to bring them the lens to change it out, and maybe that person wasn't there to get the lens. The director and, and the DP are arguing, arguing with each other, <laughs> and then they don't like a particular light that's flaring. And they've asked the guy, the grip, to come and change, and he didn't do it right. And then all, and you're still sitting there waiting for them to say action. It's, yeah, it's, it's always a, one of intense. my favorite things I always look forward to for some reason on set is when will the director and the DP <laughs> get it? Not if, like start arguing. When? Yeah. Because even if they get along, they're just going to inevitably, because they're, they're both kind of, I mean, the director has final say, but they're both like in charge of how shots are looking. And the DP could have one opinion about, Always. no, this looks so much better. And they're like, no, that's not my vision. That, I, that, I, that so, happened. It happened multiple times on me the too. shoot I was on. I remember one time. The, the, it the, always happens. The cinematographer, he wanted a particular look on the shot. And Christian, who's the writer-director, he said, we are running out of time. We're already behind schedule. We are three scenes behind schedule. And the cinematographer said, I understand that, but my name is going to be in the credits as the cinematographer, and this shot isn't the best thing it's going to be. Well, then how are you going to do that? We can't reset this shot. We need to move on. <laughs> it's great. <laughs> yeah, it's Every set I've ever been on. Oh, always, always, always. always a DP uh, director uh, And squabble. attentions are always particularly high on TV versus film because you have a bit more time crunch that you've got to get stuff done. So tensions tend to be high for pretty much everybody on yeah. a TV set. Anyways, that was great. Once again, if anybody knows anybody that's been on this production that I can talk to Please. to talk about a screener. If not, I guess we're just going to have to wait for OTT. 
Uh, but I'm, I'm looking forward to this. If you've seen it, let us know how it was. Obviously, without any spoilers, uh, in the comments below. Just